Hi everyone, welcome back to Smarter Every Day Over Learning. Dear students, in this session we are going to learn about some important formulae involving in the mole concept in solutions. Okay students, up to now what are the topics completed, everything those details I have provided in the description, we can go through them. Let's get into the class now. The, some important formulae involving in the mole concept. First of all, you have to know the definition of solution. Solution is defined as a homogeneous mixture of two or more chemically non-reacting substances, the relative amounts of which can be varied up to certain limit. That is the definition of solution. Here you can see it is a homogeneous mixture of two or more chemically non-reacting substances. Okay, if there is a presence of solution in that two or more chemically combined substances those must not reacting with each other according to this definition you can say that in a substance solute must be presented and solvent solute and solvent the combination of these two is known as a solution okay for suppose if you take a some sub substance of salt and if you add some amount of water to this, then students, you should get here salt solution. So here salt is a solute. That means the least quantity. This is least quantity of a substance which is in presented in this solution. And solvent means it is in high quantity. Huge quantity solvent is presented in that specific solution okay for suppose if you take a beaker in this beaker it can take some small amount of sugar it is only small quantity then into this if you add some more amount of water then what you should get finally sugar solution you should get now students in this beaker you have sugar solution now sugar is the substance which is which is presented in this solution in low quantity low quantity so that it is called as a solute coming to solution in this this is the complete solution okay and come to this water this is acting as a solvent which purpose we have to take this water to dissolve to dissolve this sugar so in the dissolution purpose we have to take this water this water is known as a solvent now which is going to get dissolved that is only sugar sugar is we have taken here that is going to get dissolved in this solvent so here is the solute and here is the solvent and completely is the solution so coming to this definition here what I have written solution is defined as a homogeneous mixture homo means same homogeneous mixture mixture means there must be a presence of two or more substances okay now homogeneous means the mixture having the substances which are having same same properties two or more chemically non-reacting with each other those substances the relative amounts which can be varied up to a certain limit that is only the def definition of solution now for suppose if a solution consists of two or um for suppose only two components a solution contains only two components this is called as here is the new word you have to remember binary solution okay for suppose a solution consists of two components it is called as binary solution the component present in smaller amount is called solute as i told you previously solute always present in that solution only in a small amount small quantity smaller amount that is only solute while the another one present in larger amount is called solvent here larger amount right now 
the concentration coming to the concentration of a solution can be expressed in a number of ways the concentration here i have written the first one is mass percentage or weight percent that is only w or w percentage the second one is strength third one molarity molality normality mole fraction and the last one is parts per million that is only ppm okay this is by using these steps we have by using these seven terms we have to represent the concentration of a solution let's see now first one mass percent or weight percent first one mass percent of a solute in a solution percent of a solute in a solution is the mass of the solute in grams present in 100 grams of the solution let's see clear, clearly this one just mass percent is equal to we have to take the mass of the solute mass of solute by mass of the solution so students if you need to calculate the mass percentage of the substance you need to find out the mass of the solute and the mass of the solution in 200 okay this is the final formula we have to use to find out the mass percent or the weight percent right now now let's get into that next one strength second one is strength here now strength means for suppose here is the second one the strength of a solution strength of a solution it is defined as the amount of solute here also you need to consider in the solution the amount of solute in grams present per liter of the solution that is only gram per liter or gram liter inverse now the strength the formula is mass of the solute mass of the solute in grams by volume volume of the solution in liters that is only strength mass of the solute in grams by volume of the solution in liters okay students that is about strength next one about molarity the molarity of a solution is defined as the number of moles the number of moles of the solute of the solute present per liter of the solution liter of the solution it is represented by the symbol here capital M is equal to the formula just we are going to write here moles of the solute by volume volume of the solution entirely in liters this is only formula we need to calculate the molarity of the solution that is only concentration next one is molality the molality of a solution is defined as the number of moles of the solute dissolved in 1 kg 1 kg nothing but 1000 grams 1000 grams of solvent it is represented by the symbol small m here is the formula i have written moles of the solute by mass of the solvent in kg in kilograms you have to take this is the formula just by representing the concentration of the solution in molality okay right now we shall go for the next one normality here is the fifth one we have normality the normality of a solution is defined as the number of gram equivalents here you can take gram equivalent 
of the solute gram equivalents of the solute present in liter of the solution okay liter of the solution here is the formula normality capital n is equal to gram equivalent of the solute by volume of the solution volume of the solution in liters this is the formula of normality just to represent the concentration of the solution now students in this normality moles of the solute are calculated from its mass here also you need to consider the moles moles of the solute it can be done by mass of the solute here are the two formula you have to remember mass of the solute by molar mass of the solute molar mass of the solute both you need to consider just to calculate the normality normality of the substance in this normality students we got here the new word gram equivalents now the equivalent masses of an acid for suppose an acid equivalent mass and for bases also what we have to do the equivalent masses of acids and bases and salts also and salts are calculated by for suppose now first one is equivalent mass of an acid the formula is the molecular mass molecular mass of the acid by basicity basicity okay for calculation of the equivalent mass of the acid you need to find out the basicity also this is very very important point students you have to remember now let's see the next one number of gram equivalents of the solute are calculated by number of gram equivalents of the solute can be calculated by the formula mass of the solute in grams by equivalent mass of the solute equivalent mass of the solute okay now this is about number of gram equivalents of a solute now equivalent mass of a base about acid formula i told you ma molecular mass of the acid by basicity now for base what you have to do the, the formula is molecular mass of the base by acidity for suppose the mass of the equivalent mass of the acid you are considering that basicity and equivalent mass of a base you have to consider the acidity now coming to the salt the equivalent mass of a salt equivalent mass of a salt the main formula is the molecular mass of salt by total positive valency of metal atoms you need to consider so salt means there is a presence of positive and negative ions okay for suppose if you take the example of nacl salt here is na plus ions and as well as cl minus ions also in this salt if you want to consider if you want to calculate the equivalent mass of salt the molecular mass of the entire salt you need to consider that means the molecular mass of entire nacl and by total positive valency of the metal atom here is the metal atom is sodium in this total positive valency you need to consider right this is about the equivalent mass of salt now students what is meant by basicity and what is meant by acidity let's see basicity is the number of displaceable h plus ions if you take the h plus ions the displaceable h plus ions present in one molecule of an acid this present in one molecule of an acid already you know that about acid and base definitions according to arrhenius theory 
the substance which is producing H plus ions in the aqueous medium that is only acid. Coming to base, the substance which is producing OH minus ions in the aqueous medium that is only base. And coming to basicity and acidity of these substances, for suppose basicity is the number of displaceable H plus ions present in one mole of one molecule of an acid is considered as the basicity of the acid. For example, 1 for HCl and 2 for H2SO4, 3 for H3PO4, phosphoric acid. That indicates here is the 1 H plus ion, here are the 2 H plus ions, here are the 3 H plus ions. Now, according to the definition, basicity is the number of displaceable H plus ions present in one molecule of acid. So, here this H plus ions indicates the basicity of the acid. So, here itself, the basicity of this HCl is 1, the basicity of this sulfuric acid is 2, the basicity of this phosphoric acid is 3. Like that, you need to consider. Now, coming to acidity. Acidity is the number of displaceable OH minus. You can guess it easily. In the basicity, we are considering the H plus ions coming to the acidity. We need to consider the OH minus ions. Acidity is the number of displaceable OH minus ions present in one molecule of the base. One molecule of the base. For example, 1 for NaOH and the next one is 2 for calcium hydroxide CaOH twice. Here is the displacement of these ions OH minus ions. Here is only OH minus ions or 1. So the acidity of this base is 1. Now the acidity of this base calcium hydroxide is 2. Okay, students, this is about the normality, how we can calculate the gram equivalent masses and moles of the solute and equivalent masses of the acid and base and the salt and what is basicity and what is acidity. Now, let's uh, discuss about mole fraction number 6 here, what I have written. Number 6 is mole fraction. The mole fraction of any component in the solution is equal to the number of in any solution is equal to the number of moles of that component is divided by the total number of moles of the all components. Okay, here is the all components. Now for a solution containing N2 moles. For a solution containing N2 moles of the solute, of the solute dissolved in, it must be dissolved in N1 moles, N1 moles of the solvent. Now students, mole fraction, mole fraction of a solute in the solution, mole fraction of a solute in a solution. The formula is, x2 is equal to n2 by n1 plus n2. Right. Now the mole fraction of solvent in the solution. This is about solute and now mole fraction of a solvent. In a solution that should be x1 is equal to n1 by n1 plus n2. The sum of the mole fractions of the components equals to 1. Equals to 1. Now, that is, we can represent it like this. x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. Why? Because in a solution, the presence of solute and solvent, those must be there. And coming to the mole fraction of solution, the sum of the mole fractions of the components equals to 1 always. This is about mole fraction. Now let's get into the topic of parts per million ppm. This is the seventh one. The concentration of very dilute solutions is expressed in terms of parts of the solute by mass present in million parts by mass of the solution or ppm. That is parts per, parts per million that is for A 
is equal to mass of A by mass of the solution into 10 power 6. Now here if I suppose the pollution of the atmosphere is also expressed in terms of this ppm but volumes are used in the places of masses that is the volume of the harmful gases example harmful gases such as sulfur dioxide etc in centimeter cube present in 10 power 6 centimeter cube of the air this is the entire formula to represent that concentration of as parts per million here is the important point students you have to remember about this molarity molality sorry molality this is the fourth one and the mole fraction etc are preferred over molarity normality etc this is because the former involve masses of the solute and the solvent which do not change with temperature whereas the latter involve volumes of solutions which change with temperature now let's see the molarity equation molarity molarity equation if the solution having molarity m1 and volume v1 volume v1 is diluted to volume v2 diluted to volume v2 so that the new molarity is m2 then the total number of moles in the solution remains the same now we have m1 v1 is equal to m2 into v2 this equation is called molarity equation you have to remember this molarity equation for a balanced chemical equation in involving n1 moles this is for balanced chemical equation okay n1 moles of reactant 1 and n2 moles of reactant 2 in a chemical reaction presence of reactants and the products also is there and coming to this n1 moles of reactants reactants is equal to 1 and n2 moles of reactants is equal to 2 now for this what is the formula we have to apply m1 v1 by n1 is equal to m2 v2 by n2 this is the formula for exact neutralization of VAML here is the neutralization reaction let's see for exact neutralization of VAML of an acid ML of an acid having molarity that is only MA and the basicity is NA by VB ML of a base having the molarity of mb here is the base and acidity is nb this is the basicity this is an acidity okay now for this what is nb mb and vb this is the chemical equation for suppose if you know the exact neutralization va and ma and a acidity and basicity now you have to apply this chemical equation now students we shall go for the next one normality equation for suppose if a solution having normality normality n1 and volume is v1 is diluted to volume v2 so that the new normality is n2 or if v1 of a solution of substance a and normality is n1 react exactly with v2 solution of substance b and normality is n2 then the first case as the number of gram equivalent remains the same and the second case this is the second case the substances react in equivalent amounts now the formula is n1 v1 is equal to n2 into v2 this equation is called normality equation quite often in the laboratory solutions of desired concentrations are prepared by the diluting concentrated solutions the concentrated solution thus used is called stock solution okay 
Right. This is about the complete information of some formulae involving the mole concept in the solutions. Okay, students, in this what we have uh, learnt in this session, just we can recall what is the solution definition as I just I told you and the concentration of the solution we can represent with, in, with uh, these terms mass according to mass and strength, molarity, molality, normality, mole fraction and parts per million that is only ppm. Right. Now, students, what is the relationship between molarity, normality and uh, normality of a solution of an acid or base? Just let us see now. Relationship between the molarity, normality of a solution of an acid or a base. For suppose, first of all, normality of the solution of an acid to this, the molarity into basicity molarity into basicity this is about normality of a solution of an acid now student the second one normality of a solution solution of a base if you consider that molarity into acidity molarity into acidity for example one mole of H2SO4 H2SO4 solution is equal to 2 normality of H2SO4 okay this is an acid then molarity into basicity means here is the basicity of this acid is 2 then 2 into this 2 into that acid now in the second example one mole of here is the base we have to take calcium hydroxide COOH twice solution here 2N calcium hydroxide according to this second rule the solution normality of a solution base is equal to molarity into acidity here is that 2N means the basicity sorry for this base the acidity of this base is 2 2 into that normality is the basicity means 1 mole of calcium hydroxide solution is equal to 2N into calcium hydroxide. Okay, this is about the relationship between molarity, normality of the solution of an acid or a base. Now students, some more important points we have to remember in this topic. Normality of a solution is equal to number of gram equivalent liter inverse. That is equal to number of milli equivalent milliliter inverse. Okay. And next one is molarity of a solution. Here is the normality. Now molarity of a solution is equal to number of moles liter inverse that, in, that is equal to number of number of millimoles ml inverse. These two steps you have to remember. Some solved examples let us see now. What is the mass percentage of the solute in the solution obtained by dissolving 5 grams of the solute in 50 grams of water? Now students, mass of the solution. Mass of the solution. Here we have to take 5 plus 50 grams is equal to 55 grams. Why? Because here is the solute. 5 grams and water means nothing but the solvent okay then combination of these two solute and the solvent is known as solution so that if you need to consider the mass of the solution you need to add the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent now the mass percentage of the solute the percentage mass percentage of the solute could be calculated by 5 by 55 into 100 okay simply 9.1 percentage we can solve the second example here what we have a solution of oxalic acid oxalic acid formula COOH twice 2H2O is prepared by dissolving 0 0.63 grams of the acid in 250 centimeter cube of the solution now calculate the molarity this is case A and this is case B and normality of the solution now students let us see the solution for this 
now first one is calculation of molarity we should do this calculation of molarity the first one molarity calculation in this molar mass of the oxalic acid here students molar mass of this oxalic acid oxalic acid formula they have given here COOH twice so we can write like this 2 H2O it should be 126 gram molecule inverse gram mole inverse how we got this answer let us see now here is the carbon carbon atomic number is 6 its atomic mass is 12 here is 2 carbon so 24 plus oxygen oxygen atomic number is 8 and its atomic mass is 16 here 4 oxygens are there so 64 plus hydrogen hydrogen only 2 hydrogens are there plus 2 total is 90 and here students 2 H2O so 2 water molecules are presented here for hydrogen 2 plus here is the oxygen 8 into 2 16 atomic number 8 atomic mass is 16 now here 18 ok 18 means here is the 2 molecules of water so 18 into 2 that should be 36 now here students 90 plus 36 like 126 gram molecule gram mole inverse okay this is the molecular mass of oxalic acid now students from this you have to say that 0 0.63 grams of oxalic acid they have given in the question itself is equal to 0 0.63 by 126 moles of oxalic acid now this is equal to 0 0.005 moles of oxalic acid now here is the answer I have written again 0 0.005 moles of oxalic acid and from this moles is equal to mass in grams mass in grams by molar mass that is about the formula of identifying the moles here now students the volume of the solution volume of the solution is equal to 250 centimeter cube that they have given in the question itself that is only 0 0.50 liters if you convert like this now the molarity of the solution now the molarity of the solution is equal to moles of the solute by volume of the solution in liters this is the formula of calculating the molarity now students 0 0.005 moles by 0 0.250 liters then the final answer is here is the answer 0 0.02 mole liter inverse so the molarity of the solution is 0 0.02 mole liter inverse this is about the calculation of the molarity first of all the molarity now let's go for normality how we can consider how we can calculate that normality for the calculation of normality you need to know that equivalent mass equivalent mass of this oxalic acid COOH twice for this what is the formula molecular mass of this oxalic acid by the basicity why because it is an acid so you need to consider the basicity now students the molecular mass 126 we got here by basicity is 2 why because here OH minus OH ions are 2 presented so 63 therefore you can finalize that 0 0.63 grams of this oxalic acid is equal to 0 0.63 by 63 grams equivalents is equal to 0 0.01 gram equivalents now students gram equivalents is equal to gram equivalents is equal to mass in grams mass in grams by 
equivalent mass mass in grams by equivalent mass now the normality of the solution is equal to the normality of the solution gram equivalents of the solute gram equivalents of the solute by volume of the solution volume of the solution in liters now students the value is 0.01 gram equivalents by 0.250 liters that should be 0.04 gram equivalents liter inverse so the normality of the solution is 0.04 okay this is about the calculation of normality also this is about the molarity so here is the question of this oxalic acid we need to identify that normality and the molarity also the concentration of this solution okay students this is about the solved examples from this today's chapter some basic concepts of chemistry the main formula involving the mole concept here is the mind mapping what i have written for uh, only eight sorry seven conditions i have explained to you first of all about solution and what is solute what is solvent and what is solution also have explained to you and solution definition I, I told you and about students mass or weight percentage about strength and molarity molality normality mole fraction parts per million about these completed students what is your opinion and if you understand this class you can convey your doubts in the comment section please subscribe to this channel for my further updates thank you so much thanks for watching have a nice day